Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate how to add fixtures and set up a scene. So I just launched Freestyler. I'm going to go up here to Setup. Then you're going to want to click on Add Remove Fixtures. Then another box will come up. What you do is if your fixtures are in the library, you'll just scroll through the manufacturer and if not you'll have to create your fixtures which is a little bit time consuming but once you get the hang of it it's actually fairly easy so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and scroll down here to eliminator lighting I will oh, there we go I'll open that up I have two versions of my E136's uh, one of them is A and the other one is just 2.0 the reason I have two is one is that I use one to change settings when I when I think of something new that I want to <clears throat> uh, when I create my fixtures I want to try something new I don't want to use the polished polished version that I have so that's my the alpha the 2.0 alpha is the one I mess around with when I want to change stuff around so all you do is you just select the manufacturer, select a fixture you're going to want to click on add fixture then I always select auto address and auto create group and then I'll go up here back to the manufacturer I'll add my Jamstar PAR 64's now on my I'm not sure if you guys can see it but on my uh, on my truss, I only uh, I have four fixtures. I have two scanners and two par cans. The way I set it up in Freestyler is on my lighting desktop. I'll have I'll have four. I'll have th only three fixtures because my par cans are addressed at the same address so it's really technically only one fixture even though I have two so I'll pull up the par cans add them go back select my eliminator lighting 2.0's add them now I have three fixtures the par can on the lighting desktop counts as two but they're addressed the same like I had already mentioned and then once you add all your fixtures you click close and now you have them added into Freestyler